This is a story about mechanisms of stop coding decoding in different eukaryotic organisms. Recently, a major genetic code was revealed, which uses all three stop codons both as stop and coding signals. We compared all known mechanisms of stop coding reassignment to understand how termination of translation can be realized in these species. Eukaryotic translation termination occurs on three stop codons, UAA, UAG, and UG. They are recognized by release factor 1. It interacts also with another protein, release factor 3. Complex of these proteins binds with the ribosome when it reaches stop codon on matrix RNA, and then release factors induce peptidyl tRNA hydrolysis. In some organisms, one or two stop codons are used as sense codon. In this species, release factor 1 contains mutations which prevent binding with one or two stop codons. These codons are recognized by suppressor tRNAs as sense codons during elongation. In termination, ERF1 binds with remaining stop codons and induces peptide release. These species have genetic code with stop codon reassignment. In other organisms, one or two reassigned codons can sometimes serve as stop signals. Mutations in the ERF1 can fully change its binding properties. It still can interact with a weak stop codon, but the suppressor tyranny competes with ERF1 for this coding during elongation. During termination, the suppressor tyranny also can compete with ERF1 for the weak stop codon. But in these organisms, additional stop signals are located near the weak codon. It ensures the effective termination of translation. We believe that these species use such mechanisms. Recently, an amazing genetic code was reviewed where all three stop codons are used both as sense and stop. In this species, mutated release factor 1 recognizes ineffectively all three stop codons. During elongation, the suppressor tyranny competes with ERF1 for stop codons and decodes them. In termination, these species can't use the strategy described for the previous case. All their stop codons are weak, that's why they use another mechanism. Their three prime untranslated regions are very short, and their poly A tails are almost adjacent to the ribosomes that reach stop codons. Poly A binding protein covers poly A tails. It binds with the ERA3 and activates termination. Complex of release factors and PAVP waits the ribosome arrival at the end of coding sequence. When the ribosome reaches the stop codons, even defective ERF1 activated by ERA3 and PAVP recognizes the stop codon and induces peptide release. The suppressor tRNA in this case haven't the slightest possibility to bind with the codons. This surprising mechanism is used by the species.